Okay, you guys, get ready, because today we are diving into something really special. We're talking about Veronica Brown's new single, Move. I love this song. It's incredible, right? But it's more than just a song. It's a whole vibe. Yeah, and you know what's really cool? Veronica Brown, she's like gospel royalty, and guess what? Right, She's nice. even collaborated with Aretha Franklin. Oh my goodness, Aretha Franklin, come on now, that's that's huge. Huge, right. To sing with the Queen of Soul herself. That's like the ultimate stamp of approval right there. I know, it's like getting knighted into the Music Hall of Fame or something. But hold on tight, because Move itself, this song, it takes you on a ride and thinks soulful gospel with that Afrobeats energy. Okay, I'm ready. Seriously, you be dancing. But before we hit play, let's talk about Veronica Brown's life because, wow, it is as captivating as her voice. Yeah, her story is really something. It's what makes her music so powerful. So, okay, picture this. Detroit, a city, like, pulsing with musical history. Oh, Motown. Yes. Exactly. And Veronica Brown's family. All about that gospel. I love it already. Her dad, a founding member of the Mighty Mid-South Singers, a huge gospel group back in the day. Wow. And her mother, also a gospel singer. And get this, she personally trained Veronica and her seven siblings. Seven? Seven siblings. Talk about a musical family reunion every night at dinner. I bet. With that kind of upbringing, no wonder music is like her calling. It's like that Detroit sound just found its way into her soul. But get this, Veronica's journey, it took her from those Detroit churches to stages around the globe. I'm talking performing for world leaders. No way. See, that's what I'm talking about. Music transcends more. It's incredible, right? The power of music. For real. And to go from, you know, singing for your community to singing for presidents, that's that's right. huge. Talk about a journey, right? Absolutely. And the accolades, they don't stop there. Okay. We're talking recognized by the city of Detroit and the state of Michigan with awards and proclamations, even received a key to the city. Wow, a key to the city that's not just success, that's hometown hero status. Right, but hold on because there's more. More? She's also a veteran flight attendant. Oh, no way. Talk about a life full of fascinating experiences. Seriously, that's amazing. Talk about a diverse resume. You don't see that every day. And, you know, I think it speaks volumes about her you know, resilience and her ability to connect with people from all walks of life. Oh, yeah. And those themes, you can feel it, they run deep and move. You really do. And when you think about it, right, her music, it's like a tapestry woven from all these different threads, the gospel upbringing, the global stages, <laughs> you know, the everyday heroes she probably encountered as a flight attendant. It's just this beautiful blend of faith, resilience, overcoming obstacles, and MOVE is like the anthem for all of that. It really is. Like, she's taken all those experiences, you know, bottled, that universal human experience, that drive to keep going, to have faith, to overcome, and put it to music. And you know what else is fascinating? It's like, she's following in the footsteps of some true musical icons, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about Aretha, but her influences, they also include Rance Allen, Luther Vandross artists known for incredible vocal power, that ability to move audiences emotionally. Their voices, man, just legendary. And let's not forget those gospel greats, the staple singers, the OJs, the Temptations. These weren't just bands, you know? They were storytellers sharing messages of hope and resilience through music. It's like she's carrying that torch, that legacy of using music to uplift and inspire. Totally, and what's so cool, you know, is how she blends those classic gospel influences with these modern sounds like Afro beats. I don't know, it's just that unexpected fusion that makes movies so unique. Right, you've got that classic gospel energy, but with a global twist. Yeah. But you know, one thing that really jumps out when you look at her story is the importance of faith. I mean, even in the press release for Move, she talks about witnessing, quote, how God transformed impossible situations in her own life, end quote. Yeah, it speaks to that deep-seated belief in a higher power, you know, the power of resilience, of never giving up, even when things get tough. And you know that message, it's bigger than any one religion. It's a universal truth. We all face obstacles in life. For sure. And it's that inner strength, that faith in something larger than ourselves that helps us overcome. Absolutely. And in a world that feels, I don't know, increasingly chaotic sometimes. Oh, tell me about it. It's a message we need to hear. Like it's about trusting that even in the midst of difficulty, there's always hope. Yes. And sometimes, you know, moving it means getting out of your own way surrendering to something bigger and having faith in the journey. That's the heart of move, right? Mm -hmm. Letting go and trusting, allowing ourselves to be guided by something greater than ourselves, but trusting the process. Exactly, and you know what I love? 
how she describes her music as evangelistic soul. I love that. It's not just a genre, right? It's a mission statement. She's using her voice to spread that message of hope. 100%. And she's been doing that for years, you know, even before Move. Did you know she had like a string of successful dance music projects? Her debut album, That's Just The Way It Is, it even featured a track produced by Dave McMurray. Get out, no way. Yeah. And, and wait, wasn't one of her singles, Words That You Say, that was a hit. Like Billboard charts, hit. Oh yeah, that's right. It reached number 12 on the Billboard Dance Chart and number three on the Billboard Mix Mag Chart. I knew it. It even climbed to number one on several European dance charts. From gospel roots to topping the dance charts, come on now, talk about rain. Seriously. That's incredible. It's amazing to see an artist navigate those different genres, you yeah. know, and just blend them seamlessly while staying true to themselves. She's not afraid to experiment, you know, yeah. push boundaries. That's what makes her so compelling. Yeah. But it's clear that every note she sings, every lyric she writes, it comes from a place of authenticity. It all comes back to that authenticity, that genuine desire to uplift and inspire. And with Move, it feels like she's taking that mission to a whole new level. You know, we haven't even touched on her upcoming book, Indisputable. Oh yeah, I'm really curious about that. I have to admit, I am super curious about this one. You've got this incredibly accomplished musician, but she's also, remember, a veteran flight attendant. That's a story waiting to be told. I know, right? Think about all the stories she must have, the people she she's encountered, you know. And as a black woman navigating the airline industry, that's a whole other layer of like complexity and depth to her story. I can't wait to hear her perspective. Me neither. It's like stepping into a whole other world. Right. And did you know she also hosts a weekly show called Reflections with Veronica Brown? I wonder what that's all about. Hmm. Reflections with Veronica Brown. I'm picturing like intimate conversations, personal reflections, maybe even some like behind the scenes glimpses into her life and music. Oh, I love that. It's like we've uncovered this whole other dimension of Veronica Brown, you know, with all this talk about her life and her influences. I'm even more curious to like really dive into the music of Move. We've mentioned those gospel and Afrobeats vibes, but what, what really struck you about the sound when you first heard it? You know, the first thing that just grabs you is just the sheer energy of the track. It's got this like driving upbeat tempo that just makes you want to move. It's true. It makes you want to get up and dance. You can't listen to it without like feeling this surge of joy and energy. It's really like the musical embodiment of resilience, you know? And it's so catchy. Like it's such a celebration of faith and resilience all mm -hmm. wrapped up in this incredibly catchy groove. Yeah, exactly. And of course her vocals, I mean, as always, they're just as powerful and soulful as ever. Oh, for sure. She just pours so much emotion into every note. You know, it's that combination, right? When you combine that raw vocal power with those like heartfelt lyrics, it creates a listening experience that stays with you. And that's what's so fascinating about Moo, you know, it manages to be both deeply personal, but also universally relatable at the same time. Whether you're coming from a place of faith or just connecting with that message of resilience, there's something in this song for everyone. For sure. It's a song for anyone who's ever faced a challenge or doubted themselves or just, you know, need a little inspiration to keep going. It's about finding that inner strength yeah. and remembering that you're not alone in the journey. 100%. So as we wrap up this deep dive into the world of Veronica Brown and her new single move, I want to leave you with a question. What in your life needs a little move right now? What can you kind of step aside from and trust in something bigger to handle? Maybe it's time to move on from an old habit or like embrace a new opportunity or just shift your perspective. Whatever it is, I hope this new dive has inspired you to, you know, embrace the power of moving in your own life, just like Veronica Brown.